Things get underlined in yellow on Eclipse. Why is that? Well, it's nothing, you know, dramatically wrong with your code. Uh, everything will still run, unlike an error. If you have an error anywhere in your code, then it just won't run. But apart from that, you know, these yellows, they're just warnings. They're just, you might not want to do this. You know, I'll still let you, but, you know, you might not want to. Things like, you know, it's mostly just things to help you optimize your code. It's, it's very, they're, they're very helpful. So, first thing, we've got this underlined yellow. That, that import is not being used. So we're going to remove that because we're not using the scanner, so we don't need to import it. Second thing is this age variable that we've got. We're not using it. But we're going to fix that soon. So, yeah. Let's march on. So I want to teach you guys about if. Alright? If. If age is equal to 5, then print out you are 5. Awesome. Print out. Awesome. Else system dot out dot print then you are not five or sixty five and that there, there we go we're still five we're still five but if I change that to seven and we are not five and hopefully you can see where that works if and it has a condition in here and then it wraps round, okay, in these curly braces. Whatever inside whatever's inside the curly braces what is what is run if this is true. And you can see these curly braces wrapping around, you know, like the class here, the main method, uh, the else, you know. Uh, and if this is not true, you know, otherwise, print that out. Alright? Or we can do this. Else if age equals seven I will copy paste this one. You are not five, but you are seven. And we'll have this as well. So, it'll check for this. If we're not five, oh no. Uh, if that's not true, but we are still seven, then do that. Otherwise, plop. But what if we had another variable? Int restriction. Okay, so what, what if we had a ride? The restriction was you had to be 10 years old. Okay, so let's get rid of this. The restriction was you had to be 10 years old or higher. Alright, so let's check that. If age is more than or equal to, so maths, simple maths, restriction, damn it. Alright, so if your age is more than or equal to the restriction, then Oh, Christ. There we go. You are not allowed on this ride. Else. Oh, sorry. You are allowed. Else. You are not. Alright, so we're seven. Can we go on the ride? No. What if we're eleven? Yes. Awesome. What if we wanted to check the mouse's position somewhere? So, let's say X is 1 and Y is 2. So, let's say our mouse is a... Let's say we want to check if the mouse uh, comes across the coordinates 1 and 2. So, that's what we want to check. And this is the actual mouse coordinates. So, these two match up, right? But these two don't. Therefore, we should still return, you know, false. So, what we're going to test here is if x equals x2 and y equals y2. Okay? The cursor is in the right spot. Are we in the right spot or the wrong spot? We're in the wrong spot, but what if we do that? Yeah, right, well now we're in the right spot. You could also test OR. So 
so we can change this back to the arrangement it was before and it would say yes because it's testing or if you know if one of them is true uh, x does not equal x2 oh okay but y does equal y2 so therefore we're just gonna you know go with yes so that's fine that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you guys learned quite a bit and enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video guys. Have a fantastically brilliant day. Bye bye.